Here is how to write a batch script that will help you create a daily system restore point while ensuring that older restore points are deleted or overwritten, keeping your system protected while managing storage space. Credit to Asha for the great idea. Type notepad in the search bar and press enter. To begin, type at echo of. This command is used to prevent the commands in the script from being displayed on the command prompt window when the script is executed. Now type set the name for the restore point. This line is a comment. In batch scripting, you can write comments that are used to explain parts of the script. Now type set rp name daily system restore. This line defines a variable rp name and assigns it the value daily system restore. This variable is used to set the name of the system restore point. Using a descriptive name makes it easier to identify the restore point. Now type it a restore point. This is another comment explaining the next command. PowerShell executable command tells the batch script to execute a PowerShell command. Checkpoint computer is a PowerShell command that used to create a system restore point. Description RP name provides a description for the restore point using the name defined in the RP name variable. Restore point type modify settings specifies the type of restore point. This command launches PowerShell from within the batch script and runs a command to create a system restore point. Now type wait for a few seconds to ensure the restore point is created. This is another comment to explain the next command. Timeout T5 forces the script for 5 seconds. This command redirects the output to null, which effectively hides the seconds message from appearing on the screen. This line causes the script to wait for 5 seconds before continuing. Now type delete order restore points to free up space. This is also a comment explaining the next command. VSS admin delete shadow is a command line tool that manages volume shadow copy service operations including deleting shadow copies. For C specifies the volume C drive for which the shadow copy will be deleted. Oldest instructs the tool to delete the oldest shadow copy. White runs the command without permitting for confirmation ensuring the script runs smoothly without interruptions. This command uses the volume shadow copy utility to delete the oldest shadow copy which is the restore point on the drive C. Now type echo restore point greeted successfully and older restore points have been deleted. This command outputs a message indicating that the restore point has been created and older ones have been deleted. The exit command closes the command prompt window once the script has finished executing. Save the script file with a dot .bat extension. Click on file. Save as. Choose the location to save the file. In the save as type drop down, select all files. Name the file something like daily restore point dot .bat. Make sure to include the .bat extension and click save. Now you have a batch script that you can run manually or schedule to run daily using task scheduler. To automate the batch script with task scheduler, type task scheduler in the search bar and press enter. Click on create task in the right hand panel. Give your task a name such as daily system restore. Go to the trigger tab and create a new trigger. Set it to run daily. Choose the time you want to script the execute. Go to the action tab and create a new action. Set action to start a program. In the program or script section, browse to the location of your batch script. When done, click OK to save the task. Click on the general tab and configure any additional settings such as making sure that the task runs with the highest privileges and click OK to save the task.
This setup will create a daily restore point and remove the oldest one, keeping your system protected while managing storage space.